He is. Such a cheerful little chap. He'll be just fine. We'll love looking after him. He can play with our toys. And Grandpa's too. And we can take him to Sunnyside's, can't we, Auntie Jules? I'm sure Uncle CJ will take you on an outing. Oh, that'll be lovely. Mrs Goodchild was Auntie Jules's friend. She was going to a boat party on Bob's boat and wouldn't be back till very late at night. Now, don't you worry about a thing. He'll be no trouble. Good child by name, good child by nature. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to tell you about Mr Squeak. He can't go to sleep without him. It's the only time he cries when he's separated from Mr Squeak. <laughs> Watch this. Teddy. Squeak, squeak, Mr Squeak. Squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeak, Mr Squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> Yes, this was the day when we all got to say Squeak, squeak, Mr Squeak! Now we've found Mr Squeak, absolutely nothing can go wrong. Now off you go and enjoy your party. Yes. We've had to replace him three times, you know. <laughs> Be sure he has his nap in a bit. And in bed by seven. Mrs Goodchild left and just then Grandpa came in. Hello, Teddy. You going to come and say hello to Wolfie? Yeah. This is Teddy's absolute favourite toy. Oh. Mr. Squeak. Mr. Squeak. Oh. Squeak, squeak, Mr. Squeak. Squeak, squeak. squeak. <laughs> At that moment, Teddy took Mr. Squeak and threw him across the floor. In the hole. It's gone in the mouse hole. Well, off to your basket, Wolfie. There's only one thing for it. <gasps> Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. When Grandpa shrinks, he can run really fast and he gets up to all kinds of tricks, but he can also get into really small places, which was lucky today because he could get into the mouse hole and rescue Mr Squeak. Aha. The mouse of the mill had made friends with Mr Squeak. Hello. Could I have Mr Squeak, please? No. Oh dear. But the mouse of the mill thought it would be fun oh no. to chase Grandpa. Grandpa hid behind the corner and the mouse went straight past him. So Grandpa seized his chance and got hold of Mr Squeak. And soon Mr Squeak appeared, followed by Grandpa. There we are, Mr Squeak. Safe and sound. Squeak, squeak. I'm coming to get you, Teddy. Quick, Grandpa, it's Auntie Jules. Cat off. Oh. And Grandpa came back to his normal size just in time. Oh. It's time for Teddy's nap. Don't forget Mr Squeak. Oh, no, never forget Mr Squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> Soon, Teddy had settled down for his afternoon nap. No squeaking, Mr Squeak. Elsie and I are going to make you a special tea later. When Teddy woke up, I went to the lighthouse with him and Uncle CJ to visit Mr Mentor the Inventor, while Elsie and Auntie Jules made a special tea. We thought Teddy would love to see some of Mr Mentor's inventions. Oh, Teddy, oh, this is my ping a ding a dong so it pings and dings. Teddy and liked the ping a ding a dong, <laughs> but then he saw something he liked even more. Cat. Oh, what have you seen? Cat. 
Oh, yes! Aristotle! Oh, isn't he wonderful? Mr Mentor doesn't just invent things. He invents words, too. I'm babysitting him for a friend. <laughs> While Teddy played with Aristotle, Mr Mentor showed us his very latest invention. That's impressive, Mr Mentor. It is spectacular, isn't it? What is it, exactly? What do you mean, what is it? It's Malvolio, my marvelicious money-munching monster. What does it do? I've no idea. I expect it munches money, but it is, however, most marvellous. Mr Mentor often doesn't know what his inventions are for. I expect it'll do something, eventually. He just needs to uh, think about it. Just then, Mr Mentor's chicken pot <laughs> went... Oh, my goodness! Help! Help! What, what is it? Oh, what's the matter? It's half past five chickens. I'm late. I'm most spectacularly late. I'm due at a meeting of the most remarkable inventors in the universe. Oh, dear. Time to go, Teddy. It was half past five chickens. And Mr Mentor was panicking. Don't panic, Mr Mentor. Oh, I'm not panicking. Oh, Aristotle, look after the lighthouse for me. Oh, now, where's my door key? Oh, dear. Oh, sorry to rush. Uh, oh, but wait a minute. I've got to take Malvolio with me. Oh, Josh. So, Mr key. Mentor picked up Malvolio, the marvellous money-munching monster. Oh, Josh, we must keep Aristotle safe. <laughs> when we got back to the mill, Teddy had his special tea, made by Elsie and Auntie Jules. And soon, he was all ready for bed. Grandpa was showing Teddy his favourite old toy. You know what, Teddy? This is Fred Bear. I couldn't go to sleep when I was little without Fred Bear. Just like you and Mr Squeak, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr Squeak? Where's Mr Squeak? Um, Mr Squeak? Um, I don't know. Grandpa quickly decided to sing to Teddy while we look um, for Mr Squeak. I'll tell you what, Teddy. Why don't you and I go upstairs and have a little sing song, eh? We didn't want Teddy to know that Mr Squeak was missing. We can't have lost him. We all started looking everywhere for Mr Squeak while Grandpa occupied Teddy. Maybe he's in the mouse hall. It's not funny, CJ. Then Elsie blurted out. Oh, I can't find Mr Squeak anywhere. And Teddy oh. must have heard her and started to cry. Elsie! Maybe Mr Squeak is in the kitchen. Oh, yes, he must be in the kitchen. Where did we last see him? Just think back. Think! He had him... He had him in the lighthouse, remember? Oh, no, and we had to leave quickly, didn't we? I'll go right away. But Mr Mentor's not there. He's gone to a meeting with the most remarkable inventors in the universe. Oh, no! What are we going to do? You go and tell Grandpa. And I went to tell Sue. Oh, we'll keep looking. I'll go and tell Grandpa. And she went back, kind of. I'm going to tell Grandpa. We were sure that Grandpa would have an idea that would save the day. Wait, yes, don't you worry. Oh. Auntie Jaws was trying to comfort Teddy. He was not a happy boy. There's nothing for it, Elsie. If the lighthouse is all locked up, someone has to go in through that window. And that someone is me. And for the second time that day, Grandpa shrank. He jumped on Gordon the seagull and flew out of the balcony window. Where's Grandpa? Gone for an early night, I suppose. Well, he won't get much sleep if that goes on. I'll take him some tea. No! Let's keep looking for Mr Squeak. You look in here and we'll go to the meadow. There's a good seagull. Meanwhile, Grandpa flew into the lighthouse on Gordon and landed. And guess what? Aristotle had a new friend. Mr Squeak! Hello there, puss. I've come for Mr Squeak. Aristotle didn't want Grandpa to have the mouse, so he needed a plan. Tell you what, puss. Why don't you play with me instead? So Grandpa ran and Aristotle chased him. And that's how Grandpa got Mr Squeak back. Thanks ever so much. Cheerio. And he told
tied him by his tail to Gordon. Then he took off and flew out of the window. We were waiting outside for Grandpa to come back. But we didn't have to wait long. <laughs> oh. Grandpa! Elsie rescued Mr Squeak and I picked up Grandpa and put him in my pocket. Found him! Found him! He was in the courtyard? Yep, with Gordon. Oh, well done, both of you. Thank goodness. We should get some peace at last. I can't believe Grandpa has slept through all this crying. I quickly put Grandpa down on the floor. He took off his cap and came back to his normal size. Oh, oh good job, team. <laughs> yeah, that's what we are. Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> Teddy had stopped crying. Squeak, squeak, Mr Squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better get to my room because I've been sleeping through all this crying, remember? <laughs> We were still up when Mrs Goodchild came home from the party. Teddy was no trouble at all, was he? No. <laughs> oh, I knew it. And the party was wonderful. There was even singing. Bob started to sing. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, who'll come a waltzing Matilda? Oh, sorry, I don't want to wake Grandpa. Oh, I shouldn't worry about Grandpa. Oh, no, Grandpa can sleep through anything. 